Guys, Maddie Extreme Auto, Caravan and Camping with you again. Check this out. <laughs> the old Jayco spec. Nothing wrong with Jayco. Had one for years. What's wrong with them is what they use or sometimes use for terminations. So I don't know if you can see that clearly, but try and zoom in. You see the discoloration in there? Now these 2x16, how you call them? blue point saw Madelec yeah that's a 16 square millimeter hole in there now that's 8 BNS so and there's a 6 mil in there as well you see I've cut it off because I'm not going to use it I'm going to join that properly and keep this in place this is on the factory J hub now this one here is all discolored it's been getting hot it's starting to melt on the side hard to see but um I'll take it out for you Oh, there we go. So you can see the discoloration right on that tip there. You know, it's starting to go, you know, when you heat up copper, it starts to go pretty colors of the rainbow. So that's what's happening here. It's, it's going quite black. And that's because of the contact area. It's all, like I keep telling you guys, it's all connections. You know, you've got to make the right connections. When you're making a join, so this is the, the other end of it. And they're just, you can see what they've done. They just kind of twist it. You see it's getting hot. I really think I better have better light on that. <laughs> yeah, so see it's it's horrible. So it's not making contact. So he, they've just kind of twisted it like this and gone, right, let's quickly join a cable. Grab this out of the little tub. In she goes. Wind your flathead screws in and away you go. But if you can see the surface area, see that screw at the back there? You want to see it's wound down? Look at the contact area. It's, it's not there. It, it'll crush it. If they put a ferrule on that, you know, that'd be better, much better, and probably wouldn't have had this issue. So as they're pushing this in, it's it's not making contact. And they just twist it on and then do up the screws and, you know, wham, bam, there's another sail. And it's fine for low current, small devices, you don't have a problem. But as people upgrade their vans, put bigger battery banks in, more solar in, big DC charges, and go into town with power, and that's fine to do it. But when you do it, you have to look at the system as a, as a whole, um, like as a whole completely. Power supplies to everything needs to be gone over. And this even includes the vehicle Anderson line. You know, don't just uh, look at the van. If you're charging from a vehicle with an Anderson system and you've got a DC charger that you've just upgraded in your van because you want to get better charge to it, you know, you've got to look at the system as a total. So that's from your starter battery all the way back to that battery. In my eyes, that is one system, and like I keep saying to everyone, the connections in between it, from battery post, to even cleaning the terminals, to crimping the lugs, all the way through to the fuse, through to the next connection, and then through the next, the next Anderson plug, and so forth and so forth. They're all joins in a cable line from one point to another. So your objective is to get energy from one place to another with minimal resistance in an ideal world we'd run one cable but we can't do that we've got to have anderson plugs and fuses and, and lugs and connections to to get it there and to join our you know appropriate devices and products so because of that whenever you get stuff like this this is where the issues arise and you know charging issues my battery's gone flat or now i've lost my battery or you know i'm in the bush and nothing will turn on um I'm getting a funny smell. This is because of this. Stuff like this, um, that's just one example. There's a myriad of things. You know, um, another big one is Anderson plugs. You know, whenever the, you buy an Anderson plug and, you know, they'll sell them as Anderson style. You gotta be very careful with this one. Anderson, like APP, Anderson Power Products, and Anderson style, completely different. An actual branded Anderson plug, your 50 amp common Anderson plug that we all deal with, guys make sure when you purchase it it is the actual anderson brand not just anderson style right, this is for all you guys buying stuff online and out there and even in the stores make sure the brand says anderson it is more expensive than the other ones of course so none of these uh 10 for 20 bucks or whatever you will find that those are not anderson branded they've specifically got the printing on it the reason is is the copper lugs are much better in the anderson branded ones they're heavier and you physically feel the weight difference between the um the pushing lugs and the plastic is it's a different grade of plastic it doesn't deteriorate in the australian sun um 
the, the little flap that holds the, the lug in place, the pressure on that is greater and it's, it's probably a higher rated stainless steel in the uh, Anderson plug. And that's another connection. Like I say to you guys, it's a connection. You're trying to get power from one spot to another with as least resistance as possible. The connections need to be primo. And like I said at the start of this video, more and more people are upgrading to lithium, just like I'm doing on this Jayco now. You know, we're putting battery monitoring in, new solar controller, more solar, and they're going from the Rytar 120 amp hour AGM to a 150 amp hour lithium. lithium. So because of that, now I have, and I've seen that with the AGM battery, why well, I have to change this whole thing. I can't leave it like that. I'm gonna look at every little spade terminal, every little thing, because once you put a lithium battery in with such low internal resistance, they love being charged. So that means more amps are gonna come down the line. That means more heat will be generated and it'll expose flaws in an already possibly faulty system if there are connections that are poor. So poor quality crimps, poor quality joins. How do I just drop the lithium in this and you know, center on away? I can guarantee you that that would have melted even more because there would be more heat there because that lithium battery is gonna be flowing and receiving more amperage from the vehicle as well as discharging too. You know, if you're running lithium, you've got more power, you're gonna use more power because you've got it. So yeah, guys, a little quick video on connections here and you can do as much research as you like. I encourage it. It's all about the connections. They have to be perfect. Internally in a van, you can solder. I don't like to solder externally um, for vibration purposes. People solder into an Anderson plug. Um, a good quality crimp is better, in my opinion, than a soldered Anderson plug. And that's the movement thing. You've got dissimilar metals, right? And I've seen it so many times. The lead will break away from the copper inside and it just floats in it and they get hot. I've seen it heaps. And that one also, they always, always, always break if you get a bit of movement with them. So, you know, you're moving your Anderson plug around in your drawbar, they always move. So good little point there. Use a really good quality, high quality crimper. Heat shrink and seal the point of contact from your copper you know where your insulation gets busted off to your lug or to your anderson you know connector seal it seal it with whatever best way you can possible we use the um the glued heat shrink which is bloody expensive but really good stuff it really does put a really good seal around the base of the cable there and it'll go over the lug or whatever crypt terminal you use water ingress is a killer of copper especially in a joint so you want to eliminate that corrosion factor in there so once you get the joins all sorted out. Happy days, drop your lithium in, increase your charge rates, confident that nothing's going to get hot, damage your system, and worst of all, you know, melt something and cause an issue. So there you go, enjoy that one, guys.